OK. And this will take some time. Um, the reason this isn't fitting is because I'm running this on 800 by 600 resolution in this monitor. That way you can actually read what's going on. So I have to scroll around to show you. Okay, now it's going to restart again. Do not do not press a key to boot from a CD or DVD. Okay, here you'll see it's starting windows again, and you'll see the copyright Microsoft Corporation and starting windows. And we will be waiting for the Microsoft logo. Okay, you'll see the logo forming, and there we go.
Okay. Go ahead and type a username, and this, I'm just going to call this Sun, and the computer name is Sun PC. And this can be whatever you want it to be. Go ahead and press next. As our password, we'll just do test, test, and test. Okay, press next. Okay, so just leave this, don't mess with this, and go ahead and press next. And we want to do we use recommended settings or do whatever you want to do. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use your recommended settings. Uh, select your time zone. And I am Eastern US, so, or Eastern US in Canada. And go ahead and use automatically adjust for daily savings. And then when we're done with that, go ahead and press next. And now it says it's finalizing our settings. Okay. And you will see the welcome screen for Windows 7 Ultimate. And voila, we now see the Windows 7 desktop. Let's see if I can set it to an error by 600 so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Full screen. Okay. And we'll use error by 600. Check apply. And keep changes. Okay, here's the basic setup for the Windows 7. Um, you'll see that it says. Windows 7 for testing purposes, build 7000. 7, and we've got the little startup thing here. All programs, back, uh, control panel, computer, you'll see that switches. And most importantly, the new taskbar. Um, now one thing you won't get is the um, is the preview window because that requires more graphics features which we don't have with virtual um, with virtual, like doing it virtually. So you'll see that it's got libraries and computer. Uh, you can also right click for something called a jump list. And that's, you'll see that it's got um, just like things you use often and stuff like that. Uh, you can also drag programs to the taskbar. Uh, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a version of the Mac, a dock only Windows. And you can slide it around to wherever you want. Or, um, Unpin it. So that's that. Uh, this is pretty much what Windows 7 looks like. So, if you have any questions about my installation, view the Q and A in the description of the video before asking. And if you have any questions, you can drop me a comment or message me. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have fun using Windows 7.